Hello Air Signs, welcome to your weekly reading. This reading is for Sun, Moon and Rising Sign, Gemini, Libra and Aquarius. And it is a general reading, remember, so please take what resonates for you out of this reading and leave what doesn't. If you have any personal questions, then you will need a personal reading and you can visit my website kttarot.com. You can book your reading with me there. The deck that I'm using this week is the Dreams of Gaia Tarot. And the cards that I have pulled for you this week, we have Masculine and Feminine, Intuition, Queen of Air, the Six of Earth, the Six of Water, and the Seven of Air. So the first message I'm receiving for you is that there may be a dynamic here between male and female, or you and another person. And this could be an internal element that's going on here. You may have some... Um, integration that needs to happen within yourself between the masculine and feminine. Spirit's saying that there may need to be an acknowledgement or an awareness that's needed here um, this week so you're able to function in a balanced way. Okay so masculine feminine we have the uh, the passive okay and then we have the more action orientated energies. And so it's balancing those two energies this week which is important. Okay, so you're able to be the most productive that you can be and in the most integrity with yourself. And this is quite important for you this week because we have intuition. So there is a need here to tap into your intuitive self, to tap into your inner deep knowledge. And I feel for some of you this is going to come naturally. I feel you may be receiving some signs from spirit this week and you'll be able to pick up on those signs because you are... Um, feeling quite intuitive and in tune with your higher self and with spirit in general. I'm also getting the feeling that there may be a dynamic between um, you and another person, there may be male or female, and it feels like there may be a bit of a power play going on here, and that you're having to use your in intuition and your intuitive self to get the most out of this situation because um, the other person or it may be you maybe um, it's not at the surface it's not conscious or it's um, even sly someone may be wanting to um, unbalance you go around you undermine you Okay, it does feel like there is a bit of a power play here this week, so just be aware of that. I'm also getting a sense that there is an intu intuition coming in this week for you about a past circumstance or about patterns of behavior. Um, and again, this could be you yourself, patterns of behavior that you want to break perhaps yourself so you can become more, um, more in balance. Or it may be that you recognize you need to break a pattern with this other person. Because I don't feel that it is entirely healthy or positive, this dynamic. It does need to shift. And communication is coming in here very strongly with the Queen of Air. Okay, And so I feel that you will be voicing your opinion. You will be able to have the strength of your voice. Your throat chakra is really important this week. Communicating with others, communicating with this this particular person or really I do feel in any uh, situation you find yourself in, whether it be work or home or another circumstance in your life, you're going to be uh, able to, the right things are going to come out of uh, come out of your mouth you're going to be able to say what you want to say and it's from the heart and it's from your intuition I'm also getting the feeling that thoughts may have been weighing you down recently and spirit wants you to um, focus in on that if this circumstance is is true for you then Spirit is asking you to really take a look at what's going on in your mind and those thought patterns and that may in turn be about that pattern of behavior that you need to break. Um, 
don't let it happen. That's what Spirit's saying to me right now. Don't let that happen this week. Because they're saying when those confusing thoughts come in, or when um, you get yourself bogged down in that lower vibrational energy, your intuition can't speak to you. They're also saying to me that you are good enough for this. Okay, so it feels like you are embarking upon some kind of, um, might be some kind of adventure or travel or you want to do something, you need to pursue something, and maybe a relationship, a personal relationship. But whatever this is in your life, you are good enough for this, okay? That new job or whatever it may be for you. And you do deserve it. That's what they're also saying. So you deserve this. So you may have been working toward this. Or you may know that this is intuitively right for you. And you are valuable. Okay, they're saying you are valuable. They're also saying your emotional intelligence is going to be heightened. And you're going to be more aware this week of the energies within you in an emotional sense. Not just mentally, but also emotionally. So this wonderful balance is coming in here. Now, they're also saying to me that it's important that you break the cycle. This is coming back into the patterns of behavior, potentially, for some of you. Break the cycle. Remove the emotional hooks that bind you or that tie you in. Is there a person that is has their emotional hooks in you? Draining you? Is someone draining you energetically? That needs to be brought into awareness this week for you. Trust your gut instinct. Really important. Trust your gut instinct. Um, if you feel that it's this person who has their tentacles energetically intertwined with yours, you need to cut them off, then that's, that's correct. Trust your gut. Trust your intuition this week. I'm also getting the message that for some of you, you may need to be pull you may need to pull away from someone and maybe a situation you may, may need to pull back from a situation as well it may be painful it may be difficult in some way but it is necessary spirit wants you to know that it is a necessary thing and you know intuitively that it is necessary I'm also getting the message that some secrets may be revealed to you this week and it may be about a partnership dynamic. I'm also seeing that you may have been uh, wondering about a particular thing in your life, whether it's going to come to fruition or whether that person is going to call you back, whether you're going to hear back about something. Or whether you're going to be able to do something. Okay, those things are going to come out into the open this week. I'm also sensing for you that the focus may have been on more material things over the past little while for you. And this week, the energy is shifting. And you're going to be focusing more on the spiritual aspect of things, the high vibration of things. Seeing where you're able to move. If you feel stuck or you feel like you're not able to go forward, you're going to see your way clear of this. There is an opportunity for that to come through. Because it does look like you have some uh, some kind of dynamic, either internally or with another person, or maybe several other people in your life. This dynamic needs to shift. It needs to move away. You need to move away from this. And then um, you are going to be lifted up high vibrationally. That's what they're saying. And you know intuitively what this is or, or who you need to talk to about this. It may not be that you have to um, completely cut someone out of your life. It may be that you just need some distance or... Um, or you may be able to negotiate things with them with that wonderful open throat chakra that I'm seeing for you this week. I'm feeling that there may be an unsettled energy as well in an area of your life. 
and you'll need to place this where, where this is for you. Um, and you are needing to rebalance this energy because it is unsettled and you are craving balance and you are going to feel that energy come in this week. There is a need here to take stock of what's happened as well, what's occurred in the past. So you don't repeat the same mistakes again if you are in error in some kind of way or if you're not in error just in general being able to move forward from uh, past experiences and learning from that. So there may be some integration that's happening here as well for you this week. I feel you will be moving forward in a direction that is right for you and it's not because you are deliberately trying to be harsh with somebody because I feel that this person in your life they may take it the wrong way so even though you're speaking your truth from your heart your throat center is open I feel that they may take it the wrong way they're going to hear the wrong things even though you're coming from that place of um, being grounded and speaking your truth and following your intuition on this and they may take it the wrong way they may hear think they might not really hear what you say and it's not because you are being deliberately harsh I'm not feeling that energy it's because you have a point to get across and I really do feel you want things to be okay with this person. You really want things to settle down and you want things to be balanced. You may find yourself being direct and to the point with someone. It's that queen of air energy coming through. And that may be necessary. You may need to have a dialogue like that. Now I'm also getting the message that it may be necessary to withhold information if it's warranted. Okay, not to be manipulative or to be uh, deceptive in any kind of way. This would be withholding information that is going to be detrimental to yourself or to another person if this were to um, to be it doesn't feel like it's in integrity if you were to say something. So that also may be the case for you this week. Now in terms of romance, I am feeling that it's looking quite good. I feel emotionally there is an intimacy and a connection with someone perhaps. You're going to be rekindling a romance or there may even be someone from your past coming back and you're going to have to trust your intuition on this is this person good for you is this person someone that is not so good for you intuition comes into this you have to heed the advice of your inner knowing do does this person throw you off balance so intimacy and connection is there whether you want to receive it from this person or not I'm also getting the sense that this person may be older than you. You really do have the wisdom of past experience. And you know what you truly want in a relationship. And I feel that you can really see through to someone's true character and you're quite happy to follow your own light and your own truth if this person does not mesh well with you. Some people may be taking some time out or withdrawing in some way this week. And this may be from a relationship. Taking time out for yourself. Getting your thoughts in order, your emotions in order and balanced. Most important thing this week. Now financially this week there may be a choice or two things um, and maybe financially or in love that's what spirit's saying this is in love or in finances or business or work okay they're also saying that you may be looking to become more skilled 
Okay, so there may be a work partnership, growth or training of some kind, becoming an expert in your field in work or becoming, um, in terms of love, becoming more expansive in your expression of love, self-love and also with your partner. So there is a, build, uh, a focus here on building and growth and development, whether that's you know, whether you're taking some time out for yourself, that's still growth and that's still building and development for yourself. So you have some wonderful energies coming through for you this week. I am sensing things are going to start to become clearer for you if it has been uh, quite confusing. I'm also getting the sense if this person is coming in from your past, they may offer you something which is appealing. Um, or a person in general this week is going to offer you something that is appealing. And trust your intuition and trust your gut on this because they may not be completely honest. They may not be completely truthful. They may have ulterior motives here. So really trust your intuition on this and make sure you communicate as well as you can with them. And I do sense your th throat chakra is open. So I don't feel that's going to be so much of a problem. But they are pointing out these two energies here. So someone may offer you something or to do something with them or um, offer you some something of some kind. And just be, just be aware and... Just really think about, that. Is, is that something that you really want to do? So overall this week we have some really uh, interesting positive energies coming in here for growth and development and moving forward. And that deeper knowing, that deep intuition, knowledge, uh, connecting in with your higher self and with spirit, that's coming through very strongly as well. So I really hope you all have a fantastic week ahead and I will talk to you again soon.